Chinese artist. He used to be a simple entrepreneur that started off from a small business. Through his hard work and talent, he managed to gather big time investors. Now, his company Co RTIZ is well known for being effective and trustworthy. One day, Ortiz with his employees concludes that they will offer an agreement and for a new contract with their investors. Secretary Salon, how's the preparation? We are ready, sir. We'll be waiting for the investors to enter the meeting. Mm. They'll be here for a few moments. Is the plan perfect, Secretary Salon? We can't afford to make a mistake. We need to encourage them to trust this risky offer. Don't worry, sir. We are capable. The risk wouldn't happen. <clears throat> Good morning, our dear investors. We apologize for the inconvenience. We are obliged to proceed the meeting through online because of the pandemic we are currently in. I am co-RTIZ CEO, Luis Ortiz. We will talk about the offer we will propose and discuss the contract. You may proceed. <clears throat> Once again, good morning. I am the CEO Secretary Kelly Salat. I will be discussing the presentation. Our company, CEO RTIZ, wanted to take a step forward and offer a contract that will ensure every one of you gain. Again, for this offer, our motto is gain, no loss. For we will take the risk to offer a fixed price of return to every additional amount you will invest. This amount is fixed even if the company's sales or stocks descends or rises. Our purpose is to proceed to the new project that we've discussed previously, which will have a span of 10 years in the market. As we further study the budget for this project, we have concluded the estimated price of the money that we need. And in the contract, the price we offer will satisfy this requirement. As we calculate, we are confident that this will be a success and will open our company for the new opportunities. We are encouraging you to consider this contract for it will make this project have a greater chance of success. Now, the contract we propose is the new system of investment 50 to 1 that will be effective in the next 10 years. We have personally emailed to you and your secretaries the contract. You may check it and raise questions. The new system of investment, 50 to 8, proposed by the company of Luis Ortiz or C-O-R-T-I-Z. Summary of the contract. It is stated in the contract that Party B, the investors, are obligated to invest 500000 in the first month, with an increase of 50000 monthly to Party A. The company. This will be effective in the next 10 years. A guaranteed return of 10 million per year and an additional of 8 million per year for every 50,000 per month of investment. Or 50,000 per month of investment is equal to 8 million per year of return. Or in the same unit, an additional of 600,000 per year of investment is equal to 8 million per year of return. In other words, the contract offers that the investors invest an additional of 50000 per month in the next 10 years. With this, they will be able to have $8 million of return for every 50000 <coughs> It's quite risky but promising it will be a loss for us if this project will be extremely successful since the return is fixed. But a guarantee is one of the best that you may propose. Just like the last time, I have a feeling it will be a success knowing the CEO, but in this case, it's consistent society and friends that are okay. Investors prefer guarantees. You're lucky, but question. We have invested an amount of uh, that will give us 10 million per year. But if we will proceed with the suggested system of investment, uh, everyone of us will gain an increase 
of 8 million annually. The question is, what will be our total income in 10 years? Problem 1. Vestor. We investors will invest an amount of money that will give us at least 10 million per year. But if the investment will proceed with the suggested system, every investor will gain 8 million of increase annually. What will be the investor's total income in 10 years? As stated, there will be at least 10 million per year. So A1 or the first term is equal to 10 million. The common difference or the increase annually is 8 million. And number of terms is 10 years. To be able to acquire the total income in 10 years, we're going to use the arithmetic series. The formula is Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2a1 plus n minus 1 times d. We're going to, substi we're going to substitute it into S10 is equal to 10 over 2 times 2 times 10 million plus 10 minus 1 times 8 million. When computed, we're going to have the answer of 460 million. Hence, the total amount of income in 10 years of the investors will be 460 million pesos in the next 10 years. Very well. Everything's clear. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations. I wish for your success. Randall, I'm looking forward. That was great. Everything went well, but Secretary, I have a question. Yes? If the company proposed to the investors to invest 500000 in the first month, with the increase of 50000 monthly, what will be the company's total investment for each investor in 10 years? Problem 2. CEO, if the company proposed to the investors to invest 500000 in the first month, with the increase of 50000 monthly, what will be the company's total investment for each investor in 10 years? As stated, we're going to have the starting investment as the first term, which is 500000 There will be an increase of 50000 monthly. It is the common difference. And this will proceed or be effective in the next 10 years or 120 months. Once again, we're going to use the arithmetic series. With the formula of Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Going to substitute it into Sn is equal to 120 over 2 times 2 times 500,000 plus 120 minus 1 times 50,000. When computed, we're going to have the answer of 417 million. Hence, the total amount of investment of each investor acquired by the company in 10 years is 117 million pesos. Indeed, you did well, Secretary Solon. The employees will be delighted to hear the news. Let's get going. Thank you, sir. 